Hello YouTubers and fellow gamers. Here we are with a couple of minutes from Descent 2 core set, namely the Ettins. Stay tuned to see how I painted them, the mistakes I made and how rusty I've gotten in the last 18 months. So here we are, as usual we need to clean the minis, remove mould lines and fill in the gaps that we can see with green stuff. Next I base coated the minis with Vallejo Grey Primer. then did some pre-shading with medium brown, trying to hit the darkest areas of the etin. Concentrating on under the arms, uh, around the backs of the knees, under the feet, anywhere where it's likely to be shadowed. I then went back over with flat tan as my skin layer. So the flat tan layer is fairly light, heavier in places where there's no color at all, obviously. But around the pre-shading areas, I'm trying to let some of the shadow show through. So it's a very light coating anywhere that I've got shadow existing. For the final highlight of the skin, I'm using Vallejo Skin Tone. Uh, this should be the very extremities, highest points of muscles, highest points of the legs, his stomach, uh, around the back. It makes it brighten the skin tones right up. fur and the tunics and things like that the guys are wearing. I have no idea what fur they're supposed to be so I just made a decision and decided to do it as a brown uh, skin of some description with fur on it. So 
I'm using Burnt Umber here as my base, just basically going to base coat everything like a leather look. So, uh, so we can just try and brighten it up after I've put the Burnt Umber base on it. Went in with a khaki brine dry brush just to bring some texture to the burnt umber. Tried to bring the leather up a little bit um, by using a 50 50 mix of burnt umber and khaki brine. It's purely to try and make that leather look a little bit brighter. This is Vallejo Liquid Silver. I think it's Vallejo. It's an alcohol-based paint. It's got tiny, tiny uh, particles of metal in the paint itself. It's fantastic coverage and it goes on very easy. Mine's been sat around for 18 months because I've not used the paints, so they were a little bit hard to use this time. Um, <clears throat> camera kept going in out of focus. I'm a little bit out of practice, so I was slightly out of frame, which is why the camera is refocusing all the time. Mistake. I thought the horns on top of the Etin's heads were part of their helmet. It's actually their helmet and the couple of horns. So I've just gone back in and tried to base it with the colours I used for the skin tone and tried to create a couple of horns up there as best I could, really. Damage limitation at this point. So off camera I've been doing a little bit of experimenting, so um, this is using uh, an engine oil glossy finish wash and uh, as you can see I have my two ends here and this one the Elite Guard I completely washed in the uh, like a black a black wash so basically um, but it's an, enamel, it's an enamel wash so uh, it takes a while to dry now 
you can see it's, it's toned down a lot of the colours. This one, all I've washed is uh, the heads because I'm not particularly happy with the horns and I haven't done the flesh yet. So I'm, I'm just trying to judge whether or not it's worth uh, washing the entire body. You can see this one's gone a little bit green, which isn't bad. I mean, these are, these are I don't know what the hell is supposed to be a big troll thing. Um, but a lot of the a lot of the iridium brick has gone out the window once you do that. But then I'm gonna blast it with um, a matte varnish, so the glossy shine will be gone. It's deciding whether or not I actually want to. As you can see, I've lost a lot of my skin tones on the back. Um, so it's whether I actually want to lose those skin tones, I don't think I do. So what I might do is I might just put him down to experience and say that's what he is. And I may just do a, a very light wash on this fella um, with something a bit lighter than a, a, a deep black. I mean I've done black on the actual club and, and his head and helmet and his armour. So I might just try and find a little bit of a gentler wash and see what we get. Let's put him somewhere to dry. From here you can see I've actually painted the skulls on his belt. Um, that was purely a, a quick and dirty one of going in and uh, sticking a, a real dark colour like uh, flat tan or something like that and just bringing it over with skin tone on the cheekbones and stuff like that. So here we are, they both had um, a wash and they're dry even though this one looks incredibly wet. So I think, uh, yeah, I mean this one's got a green tinge, at least I can distinguish them now. So what I'm going to do is, is this, this is way too shiny, so I'm going to matte varnish them down, hopefully give them a nice protective coat and then we'll paint the, uh, the bases black or whatever. So we've just got a normal matte varnish going in the airbrush. So that's with them both varnished. Hmm. Not too much in it. I mean, he looks a bit dirty, so it does look like he's covered in engine oil. The final results aren't too bad. Um, been out of practice for quite a while, but I think they've turned out okay. If you want to see more, um, I'm probably going to go through the descent entire box maybe if I get time, but I quite enjoyed doing these. It's been nice to get them back out again. Anyway, like, subscribe, 